Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to our fourth grade link. And for this project on week 10, we are going to be making a marionette puppet. So for today's project, you will need the following supplies. You will need some paper towel tubes, and this one came from a toilet paper tube, and this one came from a paper towel tube, and I actually have, I'll show you here, this one came from some uh, ribbon that I had. So look around. You might be able to find different size tubing at home. If you don't have a cardboard tube like this, you can certainly take a piece of paper and roll it and staple it, or just kind of run some glue across it. And if the paper is strong enough, you can make a tube that way. So to make a, an animal, which is what we're going to do now, obviously you're in fourth grade. So if you want to explore and you want to try to make your puppet different, you can certainly do that. But I just want to give you some simple steps that way you can get moving on being creative when making a marionette. So I'm going to use this piece for the head of my marionette and this piece is going to be the body. So I think this obviously is too long. So I'm gonna grab some scissors here and I might just cut this in half. And I can probably make two marionettes, which would be fantastic. So I'll put this one off to the side. And by the way, boys and girls, my craft area down here is getting messy. I'm gonna to have to clean it. And maybe I will make a video of that so you can see all the fun stuff that I keep and maybe you can get some ideas. So anyway, that's gonna be the body. My head, I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna cut it. Again, as an artist, I'm looking at all those things we talk about, scale and proportion and the composition and the layout. So even with a puppet, it is like a sculpture. So I think that looks good. Do you already see the head and here's the body and his... Uh, I'll make a unicorn, I think. They're so popular right now. I know Fiona's gonna love this. So, and there's where the tail's gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to create the legs. I happen to have pom-poms here, which was for another project, but I'm gonna recycle them here. Now, if you don't have pom-poms like this, you can certainly just scrunch up some tin foil and you can take some tape and you can wrap the tin foil and disguise it like we've done in other projects. You also can use things like the bottom of uh, egg shells like this, plastic egg shells, or you can even use maybe old bottle caps like that. So think about, or buttons would be a great idea. Think about things that have some weight that you can use to make the feet. Now my pom-poms might be a little light for this, but we'll give it a try, I'm not too sure. The next thing I wanna do is think about the legs because a marionette should be able to move like this. That's what gives it its character. So I have the head and the body. I now have the feet. And to create the legs, you'll need some straws. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these into equal pieces like this here. So here I have some yarn. Now if you have string, you can even do this with dental floss if you have dental floss at home. So look around and see what you have. I'm sure you have something laying around. You could try it with thread. And I wanna show you a little trick that I learned. If you take a piece of tape, and again, it doesn't have to be the masking tape, it can be clear tape or some other kind of tape. And I'm gonna take a piece of a pipe, um, I'm sorry, a toothpick, and I'm gonna just tape it on to the end of my thread, and that gives me a nice little, almost like a needle, to thread the yarn through, and I can pull, is that gonna work? Yes, I can pull the toothpick out, and it goes right in. All right, whoops. So here I have my body, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and make a leg coming down, and I think it's gonna be, if I look at the scale of it, one, two, three, four, five 
Yeah, it's gonna be five pieces long on mine. But you, again, might have a different amount, again. I'm gonna take some tape and just tape the end of the yarn. See how I did that? And I'm just gonna put it in. You might glue yours, that's fine. All right, so now what I need to do is, I'm not, I don't want it too tight, I want it to be kind of floppy, so loosen it up a little bit. And I am going to hot glue my yarn to my pom-pom. And I might take a toothpick here and just kind of use that to kind of mush the pom-pom together and then snip off the yarn. And look, there's one leg. Actually, that could be an arm. I do it that way too, right? Okay, so let me get the remaining legs on and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so boys and girls, I put the front feet on and the back feet. And you can see how cool the motion is. And that's part of the trick to a marionette, is the more motion you can give it, the more alive it's going to look. So I think the straws on that string was a great idea. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on his neck. So to do that, I need a, another piece of yarn. And I am going to just tape it into the front like that and you can see his neck is going to come up and I am going to use I think a different color straw let's test that how's that see his neck and how it's going to move and I'm going to tape the end of this right into the head hey look he's walking like an Egyptian <laughs> all right so now what I need to do is I need to get another string. Oh look, he's begging. I need another string, which is going to hold his little head upright and connect it to the part that the puppeteer holds. So let me tape that on. So there's his head. Wow, look at the motion that creates. That's great. And you, again, here's the next part. I happen to have a stick here, but you can go outside and just get a stick from outside and use it. And I'm just gonna tape this on and I will paint it when I'm done, but I wanna just get the mechanics of it figured out. Marionette. And I'm gonna, let me move him down here. I'm just gonna measure it so that way his string is the same size. Do you see what I'm doing? Lower it a little bit. Bring it over on the stick, that's good. And tape it on. You might be using glue, that's fine. So look at how cool that is. Oh my God, I love this. I'm gonna play with this thing all day. My neck is turning around. Oh, there he is. He's bouncing around, he's heading to the castle. He's gonna jump over the clouds and okay. So now I'm just gonna give him some paint now that I have the mechanics done. And obviously you can do this part first and I probably would recommend that. But since I'm teaching this to you, I wanted, to, you, I wanted you to see how you put it together first. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of paint. It is going to need some eyes, and I think I have eyeballs laying around in my studio, but if, again, if you don't have the type of supplies I have, make it up. You can just take some white paper and you can certainly just make your own eyes. Oops. 
let's put his eyes on his little face. Does that change the weight? Nope, it's still good. And now he needs, of course, a unicorn horn. So what do I have laying around? Ooh, I have a white tube. And maybe I can cut this. Like that. And I can just kind of bend this and I like that. And I see I have a blue ribbon here and I think I'm gonna recycle this blue ribbon. And just put some glue on it. Put in it. Look at his tail, how cool! <laughs> so boys and girls, you can see how you can make a really cool marionette puppet by using some paper towel tubes, some string, straws, some feet, a stick, and a little imagination. So give it a try. I, can, I think I'm going to do this all day. I love making this project. So I would lo also love to see what you're doing. So email me a picture at pricet at proriver.org. And if you master the marionette and you'd like to try another type of puppet project, you can certainly go click on another grade level to see what they're doing as well. Also, boys and girls, please make sure that you're filling out the Google Forms, which are, which are all located on the front home page of my website. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Keep on creating.